In an age when monsters and folktales are real, when evil spreads across the land, a family unites to save the lives of their people. The three bravest warriors must face down the Mother of Demons to regain the only power strong enough to destroy her reign of terror. Forever. Ever. Hi guys and welcome to Isle of Indies. Coming up this week we have a puzzle platformer set in a world of Celtic mythology, a first person perspective underwater survival horror adventure that's free to play, a Zelda style top down action RPG where your shield is your only weapon and the return of a shoot 'em up classic. Please stay tuned to the very end of the video to see all this week's hidden gems and also our indie game of the week. If you want to keep up to date with all things indie please subscribe to the Isle of Indies channel and also follow us on Twitter. So without further ado, let's get to this week's games. Up first we have Insurmountable, a survival roguelike where you're tasked with climbing ever-changing mountains. The goal of the game is to climb three different mountains, reach the top and then get to a safe zone. As the title suggests, this game is brutal. There are no saves, no continues, only permadeath. And like the real thing, a false move, a misplaced footstep, and it's all over. With random encounters, scripted events, a dynamic weather system, and several stats and inventory items to monitor, Insurmountable really is a mountain to climb. It's out now on the PC and all major consoles. Skeletal Avenger is a skills based hack and slash roguelite. The plot for this one is simple, you were murdered and wake up as a skeleton seeking revenge. On your quest you will wield a vast number of weapons, collect powerful equipment and upgrade your character. You can even use your head as a weapon. The game is currently in early access on Steam and features two biomes. The developer, 10 Tons, who made games such as Crimson Land and Neon Chrome have already set out a comprehensive roadmap of future updates. The graphics, well, they're a little uninspiring, but gameplay here is rock solid. There are a lot of dungeon crawlers on the market, and many with roguelite elements, but come full release, Skeletal Avenger may just have what it takes to stand out from the crowd. Solo developer Snoozing Pixel began working on Skjolder's story in 2017. This week sees its release on the PC via Steam. The game has been described as a light-hearted but challenging Zelda light adventure. You play as a warrior whose only weapon and defence is his shield, or Skjolder, a magical weapon that can block and absorb enemy abilities. The game features a non-linear world, allowing you to approach dungeons in any order you please. And like any good action RPG, there are plenty of secrets, including secret rooms and hidden treasures. The 16-bit pixel-like graphics are gorgeous, the original soundtrack is charming and the shield mechanics make gameplay fresh and unique. Equip your magical shield and go on a nice adventure in Skjolder's story, available now on Steam. Our first hidden gem of the week is the retro styled platformer Simona's Requiem. In this game you take on the role of a reaper on a mission to claim the soul of the Fisher King. As you travel through the interconnected world of Luna Turgo you'll face off against huge bosses, level up and discover special abilities. Simona's Requiem is a pretty short game, but to me that is no bad thing. The game can be completed in one to two sittings. 
The developers have stated that they deliberately wanted to make this platformer a chill experience, so expect it to play at a little bit slower speed to similar games on the market. The pixel art is lovely and the dialogue often quite humorous. If you fancy playing as a scythe-wielding reaper in a short metroidvania, well, head over to the Steam store now for this one. Made by a single developer, Alpha Particle is a sci-fi action game about a defenseless particle that must discover its purpose. There's something rather unique about this game. You take control of a new particle and navigate through a series of space stations. You solve puzzles, defeat enemies without the use of combat, and you even face off against retro-style bosses. There's a tutorial to help you get started, but discovery is key in this game. Before long, you'll be zipping through levels as you prove you're an intelligent life form. The graphics are lovely, controlling the particle is fluid and satisfying. If you want to see and collect everything, expect to spend 20 to 40 hours on this one. Featuring an unusual and rather original protagonist, a ball of energy, Alpha Particle is out now on the PC by a Steam. Our final hidden gem of the week is the free-to-play Abyss of Neptune, a survival horror set in the depths of the Bermuda Triangle. In this first-person adventure, you are sent to investigate a mysterious signal coming from the bottom of the sea. You'll enter an underground complex, solve puzzles, equip a harpoon and battle a deadly enemy. With fantastic graphics and superb audio, including full recorded voice acting, it's hard to believe this game is actually free. Check it out now on the Steam Store. Our game of the week is a puzzle platformer set in a world inspired by Celtic folklore. In Clan O'Connell and the Crane of the Stag, you take control of three siblings in a quest to serve your father, Chief Arden, and stop the Mother of Demons from starting a war. In a similar way to Unruly Heroes and the Treen games, you're able to dynamically switch between your three adventurers with the press of a button. Clackshot, the archer, is able to fire arrows to hit distant targets. She also has a double jump and can roll under small objects. Kill Cannon, the warrior, adds satisfying hack and slash combat to the game. He's able to throw his spear, dodge attacks and reflect enemy projectiles. The third and final sibling, Haggish, is a brute whose strength allows him to break shields and armour, as well as push and carry blocks to solve puzzles. The levels are meticulously designed across three worlds and feature creative boss fights and chases from beasts the size of the screen. The handcrafted 2D visuals are gorgeous and reminded me a little of classic indie platformer Guacamelee, particularly with the character animations. With its world steeped in Celtic mythology and intriguing story and three very different playable characters, Clan O'Connell and the Crane of the Stag is a puzzle platformer not to be missed. And that's it for another week. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the Isle of Indies channel and also follow us on Twitter where we post an indie game of the day to check out. I'll leave you with R-Type Final 2. It's the first new R-Type game to be released in almost 20 years. With modernised visuals, customisable ships, plus a real-time difficulty meter, veterans and newcomers alike can once again defeat the Baidu Empire. Until next time guys, keep loving indies.